what is up what is up guys welcome back to the channel let's get down into the market and you can see right here on the crypto bubbles what a day in the crypto world okay so in this video we're going to be talking about ada and talking about the programmed price that may lay within uh what cardano is doing a lot of you guys are watching this video okay I, i've got it all i've got some cardano lifers you guys know who you are um the comments have been pretty much firing me up uh, as we get into kind of what's looking to be a, a crypto explosion that we're dealing with here. And that's an explosion I can get down with. All right. So uh, whether or not uh, the cause has directly been tied to the, the Bitcoin soaring price due to the presidential election, the bullish outlook for the United States and crypto time will tell. All right. But in this video, we're going to be talking about how Cardano's price is programmed. All right. So let's get down into it. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of people also in the comments uh, that have been firing me up, but there has been the opposite as well. So on a day where Cardano is absolutely shooting for the moon, um, we're going to talk about kind of where we're at and we're going to start talking about the conversation that we need to have. And this is one that, quite frankly, you know, I I'm pretty hesitant on having. All right. And that's because I've been invested in ADA for a long, long time. And now as we look into the ninth crypto and total market cap and trading just a tick below 60 cents, we need to talk about what's going on with Cardano right here, right now. So let's get down into it. Always remember though, guys, this is not financial advice. Always do your own homework and due diligence and let's talk some crypto. Okay. So as we look into the chart, you can see kind of what we're dealing with here. Uh, ADA right now, currently uh, ninth in a uh, total market cap. Interesting story is Dogecoin absolutely exploding. 20% that we've seen from them overtaking um, XRP and now just uh, right below uh, BNB right here on the charts. Okay. But for ADA, we are down 1.4%, but this is kind of the big story here. All right, we did touch 62 on the day, but for the last week, we are up 82.2%. Um, and I challenge anyone watching this video, find me another asset and in investment vehicle, what have you, that can rival 82.1% uh, for a, a, a crypto, a, anything that has a market cap over $21 billion, all right? You're just not going to find it anywhere else but crypto or a casino, okay? And that's kind of where I'm at. Um, as always, guys, I'll never tell you to buy or sell a crypto. I can't do that. Uh, this is not financial advice, but I am going to talk about my Cardano and what I'm looking into and why this article has caught my mind. So uh, this is what we're going to get into as we look into a price surge, ending this 200-day accumulation pattern that we've seen within ADA. Now, the bullishness continues, and what we have to explain here in this video is the next step, okay? There's a lot of people out there that are going to be so quick to pull the trigger, right? Uh, we're all looking at our bags. If you guys dabble in the meme coin space, you're looking at your wallets, you're seeing just incredible gains with a lot of meme coins out there, uh, myself included. And, you know, you don't need that extra cup of coffee because you are just feeling it right now. And I've been there. We've been through this before. That's why it's very important to have a profit-taking strategy, an exit strategy, and kind of just a goal. Uh, if you don't have any of those three, you should have all of them. But if you don't have any of those three, you're going to get wrecked, okay? Now, Cardano and XRP for me, in my own personal strategy, differs a little bit, okay? Because these are long-term plays for me. Uh, they're not going to be subject to the market moves that we're seeing. If Cardano was down 80%, it wouldn't cause me to sell Cardano. So if it's up 80%, I'm not inclined to... Um, do the opposite and, and, and sell at the top. Okay. It's kind of the opposite. Okay. Um, I'm actually probably going to be buying more if Cardano was down 80%. And I, I would never, ever, ever, uh, have any kind of ill will or ha find any fault in anybody for selling, um, or taking profits. All right. At these levels. Okay. There's a lot of holders that if you've been watching my stuff, we've been talking about Cardano as high as almost $3 and as low as 19 cents. Okay. And that's the reality of crypto. It is a very, very volatile sport. All right. But uh, in terms of this breakout that we're seeing, uh, we have to talk about it too, because we are just very much shy of that 68 cents resistance. All right. And that is a very key resistance level. If we can break away from 68 cents, all bets are off. Now, what we've seen here in the market, and this is a highlight that I want to share with you guys, is the positive MRV, uh, M MVRV. Okay. Now, what that does is it often indicates potential market pullbacks because people would be taking profits, okay? So I wanna break that all down for you guys in this video. And this is kind of, we're looking at the most bullish week for Cardano since March of 2022. Um, you could piggyback that sentiment off of the Donald Trump victory uh, for the presidential election. I think that 
A lot of people in the market, I agree with this. It's a programmed breakout, okay? Uh, kind of positioning that Cardano in this November rally may continue onwards. Now, I've been, I've been calling for it. I've been talking about it. After the presidential election, Q1 and 2 of 2025, in my opinion, if we go based off the historical charts and the data points that we have, it's a nine to 12 month window from here on out, okay? So we're gonna be talking about November um, in January of 2025. And that is kind of where we're seated uh, for this next conversation uh, where we will have nine to 12 months uh, of, of run uh, where you have to really understand what's going to happen in the market and how to position yourself to make the best financial decisions for yourself, okay? Everybody has different goals and strategies. A lot of people, um, you know, myself included, uh, my Cardano price prediction for myself is in that nine to twelve dollar ballpark. Okay, the majority of my holdings that I bought in Cardano are well above where we're at right now. So this eighty-two percent really doesn't matter anything. Uh, none, the, none the slightest for me. Okay, it's going to be a long and bumpy road. Uh, we are seeing a lot of gains and a lot of cryptos. Uh, there's incredible, incredible surges that we're seeing with a lot of cryptos that have been sleeping, okay? They've been sleeping giants. And I think now that we have this optimism restored, okay? And we look at Bitcoin and the size of Bitcoin, I do want to preface this by saying, just look at Bitcoin, for example. Now, this is a $1.7 trillion crypto that is having an 8.5% gain on the day. That's unheard of, okay? That is a huge, huge move, Okay. That is essentially $1.7 billion that it, or a million dollars that is up on the day. I've never, ever seen that in terms of any kind of price performance or anything like that, where we've seen almost a 10% move for a $1.7 trillion asset. It takes a hurdle to have that kind of movement, okay? But as we look more so into Cardano, I want to share with you guys kind of what's going on in the trading view, uh, because this is kind of what leads to me uh, leads me to a lot of my decisions within the crypto world using my trading indicator. Okay. And you can see right here, this is essentially why I use my trading indicator. Okay. So we did flash momentum up here back in the latter part of, or I should say the beginning of November, about the fifth. All right. And since then, we have crossed over all of these SMAs indicated by this royal blue line. And just look at the gains that were realized basically from this very short window of time. Now, this is where we are at right here, right now. It's almost 80% in just under five days, uh, under six days, five days and 16 hours to be exact. That's unheard of, okay? And now as Cardano trades above 60 cents, uh, 59.79, we're right on that, that line where um, it's gonna be kind of that psychological barrier where we're gonna probably consolidate a little bit around 60 cents before uh, we break out or break down. A lot of it's going to be piggybacking off of what Bitcoin does. And I do expect some profit taking, right? Uh, if you guys were around in 2021, you know how fascinating the markets were. Uh, we had vast explosions and we also had some very strong red days that there were some corrections, but corrections are healthy. Uh, people need to be taking profits, but you have to do it in a way that it's responsible and it does not absolutely tank the chart. And I think that's kind of what we're seeing right here. You get pockets of consolidation on the way up and then boom, more escalators of green. And that's what we want to see here um, as we talk about it. And you know, for those of you that have been following me, I tell you, it is a lot more fun to be talking about Cardano being programmed for another surge than just, you know, that same old song and dance where we're just in between that 40 to 55 cents range going back and forth, up and down, and just having that long accumulation range. Okay. Now, something else I want to talk about is outside of this sideways action that we've seen. Okay. And that is where we've seen the momentum in a lot of the positive breakout data uh, from the resistance trend line. Okay. Now, the, the overall market sentiment is high. Uh, everybody's bullish right now. So it's kind of that old song and dance, right? You don't want to be FOMO in. Uh, we have had this descending triangle uh, for quite some time. It's been pretty much since the start of 2024, if not even before that, okay? And that's where Cardano now is looking to get as high as 80 cents as we were back in March and April of 2024 as well. Um, and this is the breakout. I mean, this you cannot replicate this. This is absolutely insane. Uh, and this is something where as we look into kind of what's happening, we have to talk about that MVRV, right? The MVRV data here within the whale accumulation of ADA, it's it's been going on. And that's where we've grown whale wallets, okay, uh, with 100 to 1 billion, okay? That's where they've had a big holding within Cardano. They've raised their holdings from 2.06 billion to 3 billion ADA. That is accounting for 45% growth in whale wallets, okay? 
And that's something where you can look into why this has led to a major market bottom and a sustained uh, recovery. The long-term potential for Cardano is, is very much indicating that we will see a, a more prominent breakout. This is just the beginning. And that's kind of what we can put together from connecting the dots here with the MVRV, okay? Because that ratio is surging 38%. Uh, that is making a lot of people profitable. And that is kind of looking at the historical data and talking about why Corrado can continue this rally in momentum. Okay. Uh, now, if we do uh, get exhausted and this rally does exhaust itself, the anticipated pullback could allow for a lot of the assets to recuperate that bullish momentum. And that's something where, you know, you could go into the argument that we do see a big sell off along the way as well. Uh, but myself and my two cents involving this. I don't think that's quite frankly going to happen. All right. It's not financial advice. Like I said, I won't ever tell you to buy or sell crypto, but I can tell you one thing uh, for Bitcoin to have the move it's having right now. I can guarantee you that crypto is going to remain bullish, at least in the short to intermediate term. And that's just kind of where I stand all, on all of it. Okay. So that's where I'm at. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have not done so, uh, please be sure to subscribe on your way out. We do talk Cardano every single day. Um, I, I don't want to consider this a Cardano uh, channel because we talk about all cryptos, including meme coins and a major market news that's going on in the crypto world. But I appreciate you guys all watching. Make sure you subscribe for more. We'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.